Mom, Dad, I hope you're watching. Our family is uh, Swiss, so fondue is not just a winter treat. In fact, this Sunday is National Fondue Day. Here to show us how to make fondue is author of That Cheese Plate Will Change Your Life. Marissa Mullen, welcome back. Thank you for having me. I've been looking forward to this for weeks now. Oh, me too. Um, the fondue villagers stuff. back in Switzerland, they would take the old bread and the old cheese. What do we do with it? They'd melt it, put it in the pot, and that's what we're going to do right now. I mean, it's wine and cheese melted together. Exactly. All yeah. right, so where do let's we start? Get into it. Okay, so let's start by pouring in some wines. So we have a cup of dry white wine here. We want to make sure mm. that it is a low simmer. Oh, okay. that's a high. Let me turn this down a little lower. That's a high simmer. We just wanted to make sure you knew what was high and what was low. We're going to okay. turn this. We're going to turn it down. There you go. Yeah, so low simmer. Any dry white wine will work, right? Yeah, any dry white wine. You don't want it to be too sweet. So we're just going to add this in here. And then we're okay. going to take the Kirsch here, which is a cherry brandy. Okay, so and just a little bit of the Kirsch. Out. Yep, just a tablespoon. We're okay. going to pour that in there. Mm. And so once this gets to kind of a low simmer, we're going to start adding our cheese. So okay. the cheese that we have today, we have a Gruyere, which is a great Swiss cheese. And we have Emmentaler, which is that Swiss cheese with the holes in it that you'd see at grocery stores. And could you use other cheeses? We usually use, we do these cheeses mostly, but could you use others? Yeah, you could. Um, you can use Comte, which is a French equivalent to Gruyere. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to do kind of like a beer cheese, you could use cheddar for something more sharp. But we're just going to grate this down because we want to make sure that the cheese uh, emulsifies with the wine. Because these two cheeses together are incredible, especially with oh, the yeah. Kirsch and the dry white wine. So good. So this was my quarantine workout. Yeah, it's good, right? Shredding the forearms. Cheese. I'm feeling it in my core. Oh, I did. <laughs> the aroma. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The olfactory's working. So I'm going to... Do we mix the cheeses? Yeah, so we're going to put the cheese in the bowl. I'm actually going to use some uh, movie magic. Oh, no, I'm going to get the workout. I'm just going to add some of this in here. And we want a pound of cheese total. So half a pound of Emmentaler, half a pound of Gruyere. And we want to add some cornstarch to this so that the cheese doesn't kind of clump up. Okay. So I'm adding cornstarch corn to this bowl. Yeah, good. And we will... Oh, the cheese smells. It has the great smell. Not oh, too yeah. strong. Oh, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to mix this together. You can also add the cornstarch to the wine, but I like to add it to the shredded cheese. Okay. It just makes it a little easier. So... Cool. Our wine is at a low simmer, and we are just going to add this in with just like little at a time. So a you can use your hand time. if you want. All right. Just put in maybe like a few handfuls. All right. And then we'll take our whisk and just start to to whisk it. Whisk it and let it melt. You so want it to be nice and creamy. It'll be nice and creamy. This is kind of like patience, you know. What? Self care with fondue. We want to take our time. We want to slow down. Could you Google that? <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to add some more. So keep on adding this in until it is fully emulsified. If it's a little too liquidy, you can always add more cornstarch. <laughs> mm -hmm, good. <laughs> and then if it's, uh, if it's too thick, you can always add some more wine. What about these other things over here? Yes. So we're going to add the nutmeg to okay. the end once we at, get at the it end. kind of Now, one together. thing to be aware of, if you do dip your fork into it and it's hot, we do the beef one with the oil. Oh, yeah. I ate off the fork and I burnt my lip just before New Year's Eve. And so when the ball dropped... Uh, that is not Yep, fun. didn't look good. Yeah, be careful. It's hot cheese. All right, it's so we're going to patiently stirring and stirring and stirring our brew. When we come back, Kelly will show you what to dip in the fondue, and then we'll taste, right? Exactly. Stay with us right here. Welcome back, everybody. Marissa Mullen is here teaching us how to make fondue. I've been fixing what Ryan left undone, <laughs> same as always. <laughs> it tastes great, though, I'll tell you right now. Look at you up there That's with your amazing. cheese. My work now, is done. I'm having breakfast. How do we serve it, Marissa? What's the best way to serve a fondue plate? Yes, yeah, so there's a few different ways you can serve slash dip. So mm -hmm. if we start with our traditional Swiss fondue accoutrements, mm -hmm. we have this plate here. So we have some broccoli, some bread, roasted potatoes, and then cornichons, which mm -hmm. are pickles. Those pickles are so good, aren't they? And we have this lovely fondue fork. You want to do a little dip, yep. dip action? Mm -hmm. Look at that. You mm -hmm. want it to be this perfect stringy consistency. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not too thick, not too thin. Can you dip cheese into the cheese? Yeah, you can dip anything you want to the cheese. Oh, yeah, Kelly, this is your heaven, bread and cheese. Bread and cheese Should is... Should we try it? So yeah. You're so welcome. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It was delicious. Mm. Mine was a little bit messier than yours. So I am the creator of the cheese by numbers method. Which you is... sure are. By the way, we use your cheese by numbers method all summer long. Oh my gosh, yeah. All summer long we were cheesing by numbers. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> so we're going to cheese by numbers right now, and we're going to make this fondue into a summertime cheese plate. So we sure are. We're moving over to the plate. And cheese by numbers is six steps. So step one is cheese. We have our cheese. 
We're going to add more cheese to the cheese, because oh, that's what you want to do. Bob. So on this plate here, we have some slices of Gruyere, which is the cheese that we used to melt. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to arrange it on the plate. So you could dip the cheese into the cheese? Yeah. You could, oh, this you is the dip greatest. whatever you want. I, this is great. So I'm just going to... You can tell before. Ryan's up there in a food coma because he just came to and was like... I can't be around you all of it. Did you say that we could dip you the cheese into the cheese? We said that like 20 I, I'm times. I'm a threat to all humans if I'm that close to this cheese down there. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so step one is cheese. I added the Gruyere to my plate. Uh -huh. You can do it facing out, facing in, however you want. That actually looks really pretty. I might copy you. Thanks. Okay. Let's switch it up. What's the next number? Next step is meat. So I'm doing some summer sausage, chicken sausage, mm -hmm. and we're going to make a salami river, but with chicken sausage. When you make a salami river, Ryan sits up and takes notice. Of That's it. my code word. Marissa, take me there. Okay. I just want to see what you're doing, because everything you do looks pretty, so. Yeah, so we are, we're taking the river, and we're going from one end to the other on the okay. cheese plate. Uh -huh. So you can also, like, stack the cheese a little bit, or stack the meat, make it a little bit wider of a river. Perfect. And our fondue is in the center. So it's like a river with a fondue pond. I mean, right. it's like a dream come true. It's, it's amazing. I'm mm -hmm. so excited. Next, we are going to add our produce. So mm. we have some cucumbers, we have roasted veggies, we have potatoes, and we're going to make our produce ponds These around our baby cucumbers. cucumbers. Aren't they cute? Are so sweet. And they're such a nice refreshing crunch too with the creamy cheese. Let's try it. So I'm adding some, <laughs> yeah. You happen to be right. It's great, it's a nice palate cleanser, you know? So I'm adding in some produce ponds with my salami river. You know, we're just painting with our produce now. The produce pond and the salami <laughs> river. Ryan, is this a great country or what? I'm not, I'm not listening, but yeah, sure. Ryan's over in fondue world over there. And then I'm going to take some grilled squash to add some nice yellow notes to this plate. Mm. We can also add some roasted or grilled portobello mushrooms. Mm. You'd want to serve this all warm, obviously, but you can always prep everything ahead of time and then just and then plate just, it. And, and, mm -hmm. and can you just stick it in the microwave or what? How do you? Yeah, you could, you could stick it in the oven probably. Oh, if yeah. It's an okay, oven safe yeah. dish. Yeah. Um, potatoes, I'm gonna add in some, sprinkle in some potatoes here. And then we get to crunch, which is our next step. Oh. So we have these little bread cubes. Again, just going to fill in my gaps with the bread. Mm. And then, of course, we have our nice edible flowers for garnish. Oh my and this God. just really makes the plate stand out. You know, I can taste the white wine. I mean, it's so good. Oh, yeah. I mean, there is something so elegant about the way you pull these plates together. That looks Some amazing, by the way. That well, looks gorgeous. Oh, I love how you folded your little you oh, squash do you like there. Thank you very much. That's beautiful. Let's do this again. Yeah. I mean, Can we do this segment again? I lo let's do this segment anyway. one more time. <laughs> Next year, let's do it again for our primetime show. Just um, for those inquiring, Marissa's single there. <laughs> Just in case anybody was curious about that. Sometimes she likes cheese. Sometimes people are curious about these things. Marissa, you know how it is. Thank Sometimes you for I like to get ahead of these questions. Um, thank you so much. Deja, how is it? I haven't tried it. We're about to no, eat. You should, to you should take the bite Deja's of fondue, skin. then do the toss. Come on. <laughs> okay, wait. Take the bite, then wait, do the I toss. Can I try this? Mega. Can I try uh, this cheese yeah. that's cooked in this skillet? Oh, oh yeah. Wait, what if you want to celebrate National skillet? Fondue Day this weekend, head to kellyandryan.com for this recipe. Don't forget to check out Marissa's book, That Cheese Plate Will Change Your Life. Everywhere books are sold. Thank you.